Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. And guys, to be honest, I just came back from work and I had no intention to make a new video. But guess what? They just dropped a bomb banner. And I'll we'll be talking about the banner. And I'll be showing you that this is going to be one of the most important banners so far they have released in recent times. Because I've been playing this game for a quite a long time. And now I understand that what type of characters are going to be long lived in your account. And we do have such kind of banner guys. About this banner, I would say if you have stones, if you have your resources, if you have your James, Blue crystals, pull for this banner. But first of all, let's talk about these events. They have kind of introduced a new battle ranking EM Bombers of Shinra. Very colorful, nice event going on. Lot of lot of interesting enemies. And based on your ranking, based on your damages, you will get these sort of rewards. The rewards can be really lucrative if you are thinking about these things. Huge amount of blue crystals is probably available. But most importantly, this is going to be mainly these materia crafting materials. And if you talk about the boss, there is Airbuster and there is Renault. Let's talk about Airbuster first. And here you need to have... If possible, you should use electric damage dealer. That means thunder, thunder, lightning, weakness with this sort of sigil. And there are certain weapons in this game. Uh, for example, if you have clouds, moon or same, that is going to give you this uh, lightning damage and also this sigil straight away. So enemies are having this requirement. However, you can use almost any elements rather than fire don't use fire because they are having fire resistance i don't know why they are putting fire resistant in each and every banner i have no idea because they have kind of uh, released this previously broken jack banner now they have to restrict jack in each and every event like bro is it even fair but in anyways guys try to use physical attack so technically murasame cloud is the ideal character if you have Otherwise, use any character with a lightning damage. You can use ice damage dealer as well. Because if you see this, this web, uh, these mobs, they're having this weapon uh, weakness against fire and uh, uh, ice as well. But but the boss is having fire resistance, so it is a bad idea to use fire. Try to use ice. That will help. But the best is going to be lightning. But you can also use water, earth, or any other elements. Reno, on the other hand have a way more sigil requirements look at this oh my god bro his requirement required element is going to be ice if you use ice you will get way more benefit but you will get totally crap if you use lightning totally he, is, he has a resistance against lightning try to incorporate these sigils of course this sigil is hard to get but this sigil you can easily get no problem and use very lightning element physical attack so they are encouraging you to use lightning element physical attack you can use earth element physical attack as well, water element physical attack. But any form of physical attack is going to do way better than comparatively magic attack. And there will be these sort of rewards. Okay, so these are the things about this event that's going on. Now let's talk about the banner guys. The big thing. Big thing is going to be the draw and of course they have introduced this step of draws. If you are playing in the game, probably you would like to participate because I heard that they provide quite a good amount of values because there are certain free draws as you can see after after spending certain gems you'll get free draws however this is totally limited to paid players only you can invest red red uh, uh, red crystals step up draw same kind of case scenario but we do have a free draw and let's do the pool see if we can get something i am totally interested about these free pools guys i'm not going to spend in those step up draws at least for now but we'll see in future that but let's see how it's going to work let's keep this thing and please 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 oh yes one five star and probably that look, look, looks like this glance weapon keep this what we got good weapon lightning lightning uh, our ability this weapon personal style is having probably lightning our ability as much as i remember but we'll check that out later we'll check that out later let's talk about the banner and they have added this crossover one previously i talked about crossover two it is, is also a very amazing looking banner but in terms of usability this is going to be insane so let's talk about first 
the first banner beautiful beautiful tifa once again she is back among us oh my god what an amazing red indian themed costume guys if you have watched movies based on red indian people oh my god you know what i'm talking about amazing i mean extensive design guys extensive design and look at the weapon look at the weapon this weapon looks so sick in terms of design it is already so sick let's check out the effect guys is going to deal 520 magic lightning damage so one of the character who is going to do lightning damage but magic so technically this character even if you are pulling in this banner she is not going to be too useful in the recent events because the recent event is asking for physical damage dealing character but that doesn't mean that this is a bad character let me tell you why because when h then self hp 50 percent more attack magic attack is decreased however this is kind of low but if you upgrade this to normal level it is still low but if you upgrade this to the max it will reach up to mid so overall the weapon is going to do a huge amount of damage if you can upgrade this the weapon to the max if you go to the max level look at this 940 percent damage one of the top damage dealing weapon however not the best highest dealing highest damage dealing because the highest damage dealing in my opinion is a uh, non-element magic damage is still doing the best but still it is a very very in terms of elemental damage very high damage and also very high magic attack and uh, lightning potential nothing surprise and her costume is going to be leaven red arcanium she is going to be the arcanium magic lightning arcanium boost magic ability potential very very i, I mean i should say that this sort of arcanium who is having magic ability boost or physic ability boost and uh, depending on their style this ability boost is way superior than normal physical attack or magical attack that's my opinion guys so in terms of that in in that regard he's a kind of a superior level arcanium if you are looking for a lightning based arcanium however old players if you are still having uh, uh cloud murasame cloud same thing same effect it is going to do so it depends on if you are willing to shift your focus to her because her damage is going to be way higher than cloud now let's talk about the main focus because main focus of this banner is going to be Aerith and to be honest guys what should I say after a long long time Aerith has appeared or reappeared among us in the same fashion that we would like to see her that is a support a healer and a buffer and oh my god what should I say first let's talk about the costume boost heal after a long long time we are having a costume from Arith who is going to boost heal and guys i'll be honest with you i'll be totally honest with you if you are playing this game as a moderate spender or f2p mostly you would still like to have healing in your team but if you are a spender who has totally ob10 level weapon probably you don't need healer the enemies are not going to be as strong as to you know decrease your hp or something but if you are a low spender like me or an f2p almost like me healing is still you will need Ta buff debuff extension uh, duration extends 60 percent and this is going to support massively guys i'm definitely gonna pull guys why uh, let me tell you why what her weapon is going to do insane physical uh, attack increased potentiality mid it is going to buff at a zero level at a zero level let's go to the 120 level already two tire physical attack buff to the entire teammates range all allies each and everyone guys including her duration 12 second extension 4 second maximum potentiality high that means very very high extension also when hp is 70 percent or more magical defense is increased the entire team look at this all allies are going to get magic defense physical attack getting from here magic magic defense all the aoe my goodness and once again high extension so these extension are going to be supported also by her garb that has that buff debuff extension thing and also look at this magic heal is cast potentially five percent of healing of course at this low level the healing potentiality is little bit lower but guess what this is going to range the entire team this is going to range the, heal the entire team and look at this if we just go to the highest 7% of heal not really true such a big increase in my opinion 
so i would say this weapon should be really good if you keep this weapon at a very low level because it's not going to do damage and it's going to increase the physical attack is going to increase the magic defense is also going to provide heal also boost hp and buff uh buff extension this is also going to massively help guys so excellent debuffer come healer come support a character that you would like to include in, in your team as, as i said that if you are a low spender if you are having usually ob2 3 or 4 level maximum weapon or 1 2 something like that this type of character is going to live in your account and, and is going to support in your account if you are having strong physical team and if you are willing to build a strong physical team so i believe uh, this video was helpful to you to understand the worth of this character especially Aerith I think is going to be a must collect at least try to collect her garb weapon also try to collect because this is going to be an AOE weapon guys so I hope this video was helpful to you thank you so much for watching don't forget to support the content support the channel and I hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends